In Shanghai, yoga, the ancient Indian practice, is meeting with Chinese martial arts underwater. Muchi Miya, an action movie star and a yoga entrepreneur, feels there's a strong connection between China and India. Miya once starred in the Jackie Chan movie Kung Fu Yoga. She's now decided to kick it up a notch by bringing the mashup from the big screen to real life. The team, however, finds it quite a challenge. Miya's business idea was, in part, born out of her passion for Kung Fu. <laughs> Having made her career breakthrough as an action star, martial arts has always been a part of her life. Now she's ready to explore new possibilities with the ancient practice, with a touch of yoga. <laughs> Back then, our understanding of yoga was limited only to poses. Not surprisingly, Miya became a yoga aficionado and was drawn to everything Indian. Fascinated by the culture, she went on to study yoga at an ashram in the holy Indian city of Varanasi. If you really want to learn about a country, you have to go there, know the locals and experience the culture yourself. Cultural interactions between China and India have been robust. Yoga has become immensely popular all over China in the past few decades and is emerging as a major fitness discipline. It's estimated that about 10 million Chinese now practice yoga regularly. The Indian yoga emphasizes appreciation and cherishing everything. Chinese martial arts, however, focus on filial piety, benevolence, righteousness, courtesy, wisdom and faith. I believe bringing the two cultures together will help boost the mutual understandings and exchanges between the two countries. Promoting Kung Fu Yoga has become Miya's latest mission. Miya decided to seek help from an Indian yoga master living in China. Popularity of yoga in China over the years has attracted scores of Indian yoga teachers to either start their own institutes or work for popular yoga studios. But Dr. Avinash Mishra from S. Vyasa University, the world's top yoga institute, is here on a different mission. He's here to study traditional Chinese martial arts. While sharing a piece of traditional Indian roti over lunch, Dr. Mishra agreed to help Miya with her experiment. His lab at Svyasa University could help scientifically test out whether Miya's Kung Fu Yoga will indeed boost health conditions, such as improving cardiovascular strength or reducing anxiety. In India, roti sharing symbolizes true friendship. China and India are home to two of the world's oldest civilizations. Buddhism spread from India to China, and merchants established trading posts in each other's countries. Scholars like Xuan Zhang traveled from China to Indian universities such as Nalanda, and much of Indian history has recently been rediscovered by using Chinese texts. Archaeological findings suggest that the cultural exchanges between the two Asian giants has a history of at least 2,000 years. If you start from remote antiquity, so it is almost you know, 5,000 years old. So the great culture, great civilization, and surprisingly, you know, it is a, a continuous civilization. Uh, as Tagore has said that, you know, uh, the civilizational lamp of uh, China and India, it is still burning. 
To help Dr. Mishra grasp the true essence of Chinese Kung Fu, Mia takes him to her fighting club. There, Dr. Mishra learns how to strike Mani's fists and gets to experience the Kung Fu spirit firsthand. Mia is now trying out her new ideas at her yoga studio while Dr. Mishra has left for India, bringing Kung Fu yoga back to his lab, carrying on the experiment. The duo's attempt with Kung Fu yoga is just a microscopic view of the cultural interactions that have flourished between the two ancient civilizations over the years.